Welcome back. In this section, I'm going to introduce the concept of drawing conclusions. We're going to want to work on improving drawing conclusions uh, based on the given information and also kind of where the, the proof is headed. So we need to get some practice at drawing conclusions. Okay, so our procedure for drawing conclusions, first thing, thing that's going to help us the most is memorizing the theorems, the definitions, and the postulates that you're given. Those are going to be, um, you know, your reasons and proof. Uh, those are going to be the basis for the conclusions that you draw. So in the proof, you're going to want to look for keywords and symbols in the given information. Okay, and you're going to want to connect those keywords and symbols, symbols to the theorems and postulates and definitions that you have memorized. Then it'll be up to you to decide which theorem, definition, or postulate will allow you to draw that particular conclusion. Okay, and of course, be careful and look out for converses, especially when working with uh, definitions. Okay, so order is important here in drawing conclusions. And also, be sure to mark your diagrams with the tick marks. Um, that's really going to help you. Whenever you draw tick marks, you're, you're making a statement, and from there, you're going to have to draw the particular conclusions or the reason in your proof. Oh. So, here's sample one. Angle DEF is complementary to angle HEF. So we know that DEF, the bottom portion of this angle, is complementary to the top portion. Well, I think our key word here is complements. What do we know about complements? Well, hopefully we know that if two angles are complementary, then we know that their sum is 90 degrees. And also, if two angles are complementary, then they form a right angle. And that's the one I would use in this example. So we're going to write our given angle D, E, F, complementary to angle H, E, F. And that is given. And then we can say angle D, E, H is right. And our reason is, if two angles, hello Winston, if two angles are complements, then they form a right angle. So, and... Another conclusion could be angle D E H is 90 degrees, and we would do the same thing. If two angles are complementary, then their sum is 90 degrees. So that would be the other conclusion that we could draw there. Sample two, angle W X Z is congruent to Y X Z. So I'm gonna mark my diagram right away. Angle W X Z is congruent to Y X Z. And that's all we know for sure is true. But we should be able to draw a conclusion from that. These two angles are congruent. And angle X, or WXY, that big angle has been split into two congruent angles. Well, guess what? Angle WXY has been bisected by ray XZ. So we would say ray XZ bisects angle W, X, Y. And our reason would be if an angle, this is a little bit tough because it's our converse, if an angle is divided into two congruent angles, okay, so that's our if part. Our if part generally refers to something we've already established, we've got two congruent angles, then it has been bisected. Okay. Hmm. 
Now, there's really nothing else we can conclude here. You know, we don't know if Wx and Xy are congruent, okay? And we don't know if Xz is bisecting the opposite side. We can't conclude that. We don't know that for sure, okay? We don't know if those angles are congruent. So don't jump to conclusions that, that are not there, um, that you hope might be true or look might be true. We want to know what we know is true. And that is the only conclusion we have there, that we know is true. In sample three, we have E is the midpoint of AC. So E is the midpoint of segment AC. And I'm going to let you do this one on your own. I'll get you started here. I'll put the given in. Okay. So what can we conclude? What do we know for sure? How is E imposing itself on AC? Well, as a midpoint, it's only imposing itself on AC. There's a hint. So what can we conclude and what can't we conclude? Things that we think might be true, but um, we don't know for sure. Why don't you think about that? I'll let you finish that problem and bring that, and we'll go through that when I see you in class.